What's up guys, Joshua Bates here, and today we are going to take a look at creating lightsabers inside of Adobe Photoshop. So, real quick, the three things we're going to do. We're going to color correct, color grade this original scene, uh, this photo that I found on Google behind the scenes of Luke with Yoda on his back training in Dagobah. Two, we're going to make the blade of the lightsaber itself look real, just like in the movies. And then three, we are going to create some artificial light on Luke. So it looks like the lightsaber is light is actually bouncing off of him. And it's going to light him up with whatever color the lightsaber is. We'll probably go with green because, you know, Luke, whatever. Uh, but that is up to you. That's your prerogative. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did is I ran one of my actions to color correct the scene. Um, I'll walk you through that sort of a more manual way right now. So I'm going to go up here to my adjustments uh, panel. I'm going to get a curves adjustment and then I'm going to get color balance. I'm going to click on, maybe we'll do some vibrance. And I think I had a levels as well. Uh, actually I can check. Yeah. And I also had a photo filter, but we'll skip that. So first off, let's go to levels, bring it down just a touch. Then we will go to color balance and get most of our color from here. So shadows for this photo, gonna make a bit blue. Go do the same with the mid tones and the highlights. I'll probably make a little bit warmer. We will see. This is just how I like to color grade. You don't have to color grade like me if you don't want to. I'm gonna mess with the curves a little bit and try to get this, try to get this looking pretty good. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. So let's uh, leave it there for now. This is of course is completely subjective. So I'm gonna select all these, shift, click to select all of those layers. And I'm gonna drag it to the folder icon. We'll call this color. So now we can just turn our color on and off really easy. Let's make the lightsaber. So I'm gonna create a new group, call it saber, create a new layer, call it saber one. Now we're gonna go in here with the pen tool. P is the shortcut for the pen tool. And we are just going to draw where we think the lightsaber should be. I like to use the pen tool over the polygonal lasso tool because it gives you more control. So for example, I can control click. I can go in here and modify my points. I'll go in here, hit selection, hit OK. And now we can hit D and X a couple times on our keyboard to bring up white, perfect white. And then I'm just gonna use the brush tool to paint. Let's zoom out, it's a bit harsh. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit W, hit select and mask, and I'm gonna feather my selection just a little bit. Now I'm gonna try. That's a lot, uh, a lot better looking. And actually, this lightsaber is a little out of focus. It's a little blurry. It looks like it's got a bit of a motion blur on it going this way. So I'm gonna add a motion blur to my lightsaber blade itself. Sort of try and match that. Maybe like two pixels. Okay, now we will, with our saber layer selected, go down here to FX and hit outer glow. And now you go in here, pick the green color that you want. Let's see.
Okay. Now I'm going to hit Control or Command J to duplicate my layer a couple times. And I'm going to hit it with a Gaussian blur to sort and soft to sort of soften it up a little bit. Same thing, but a bit more blur. Duplicate it again, and a bit more blur. And we'll do this a couple more times. Definitely getting there. So you just kind of got to look at it and decide what's best for the situation. Sometimes you use more blur, sometimes you use less, sometimes you go back and delete some of these layers if you want a more clean look. But sometimes you want it to. Uh, Look just like this. Maybe add more motion blur. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Of course, we could go back in with the brush tool, you know, or the eraser or whatever, and sort of clean up the lightsaber blade if we needed to, if we realized we made a mistake. Uh, this is a really simple system. It's not that procedural, but um, it's, it's a pretty simple effect. So it doesn't require anything that complex, honestly. I'm just tweaking outer glows here a little bit. Okay, now we're done with the color grading, we're done with adding the lightsaber, now we're going to add some uh, sort of effects to make it look like the lightsaber is actually in the scene, and we're going to light Luke up with green uh, on some of like the areas that would be highlighted uh, by the light from this. So uh, I'll go ahead and duplicate my background layer, and I'm going to add a curves adjustment, I think that will be the easiest way. Brighten it up a bit and go to the green channel and brighten that up a lot. Okay, now I'm going to go to this mask and invert it. That's the mask on my curves layer. I just double click the mask and I hit invert to do that. So now you can't see it. Now we get the brush, we set it to white. And make sure, I, for this, I would use a totally soft brush. And then we're just going to go in here and we're going to paint the areas that we think should be highlighted. And use like 30% opacity on his hair, just a little bit. And then Bit there, bit there. Going down to 15% opacity. I don't want to overdo it. And we're actually going to tone the whole layer down after this as well. So now I'm painting on the tops of his fingers here. So it looks like the light's coming from above and shining down. A little bit more realistic like that. And then we'll do a bit of that. Okay, maybe not so much. Just gotta add some green, dude. Cool. Okay, let's take a look at the before and after of our curves layer. I'm gonna rename the curves layer. Um, I don't know, why is my mind failing me? I'm just going to rename it something like 
<sighs> light spill. I don't know. Don't judge me. So if I turn that layer on and off, you can see the before and after. Maybe to 80%. So let's look at our before and our after. Here is the before, the original photo we started with. And here's the after. Pretty cool. So this is just a really quick tutorial to show you guys some of the possibilities. You know, add your own style to it. If you follow this tutorial and make a cool photo, you should tag me on it. My Instagram is Josh in the studio um, or Joshua Bates Photography. You can tag either of those Instagrams and I'll see your photo. And if it's cool, I will repost it on my page and my stories as well. So thanks for watching and peace.